Hi everyone, my name is Pamela Fitzgerald. I am such a proud community champion and ambassador here with Unsinkable. We want to thank you for participating in the Sun Life Youth and Family Mental Health event. It is so important that we empower everyone to share, to open dialogues about mental health, that we support one another, that we listen and that we're heard. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being part of that today and thank yourself for taking that time. We are going to reflect back. We'll do a little uh, guided meditation. I do weekly meditations with Unsinkable and Unsinkable Youth on their Instagram accounts. Mindfulness is a big part of my journey and part of my healing. So the guests and the panelists were asked to visualize a safe space, uh, themselves in a spa safe space after the pandemic, and take a few moments to write a note to their future selves. Writing notes to ourselves is such a powerful practice. So many of us are caught up in negative dialogue with ourselves, negative self-talk. So writing things down and learning how to encourage yourself and speak to yourself with compassion and kindness is, it's, it's not easy, but taking the time to journal um, and write to yourself can be really helpful with that. Um, writing to myself is a practice that I do daily. That's how I journal, that's how I get my thoughts out. It was suggested to me by a mental health care practitioner and it's been a part of my healing and my journey for a long time. So, you know, when I'm writing down my thoughts, it's Dear Pamela, and you know, I talk to myself and I encourage myself. So I'm gonna share with you briefly my journal entry from March 17th, 2020. Um, that was in Ontario, the day that a lot of businesses um, had a work stoppage due to the pandemic. Um, I was going through a, a bit of a tough time at work and I, at the time I needed space and uh, I was welcoming in the stoppage of the work and I read this and I share this with you because it's becoming more and more apparent to me that a lot of light is um, able to come out of darkness. Um, you know, we see that through the stories that, you know, we heard at this event and um, just that there is possibility when sometimes it feels like there isn't. So here goes, this is me writing to myself on March 17th, 2020. Dearest darling Pamela, that's how I talk to myself. <laughs> well, here it is, you are officially off. The pandemic has forced a work stoppage and you're at home to heal. I'm proud of you for sorting out your finances in this difficult time. And what a beautiful morning it is. Your silent meditation, reading and movement is a perfect way to start this new chapter in life. I am with you each and every moment. I love watching you feel rested. Keep close virtual contact with those you love and pursue your dreams. Don't forget how special it was to receive that incredible note from Silken Lawman. Please use that energy to motivate and drive you forward in your pursuits, even in a difficult time. I acknowledge you and share with you much love and light. I hope that that maybe, you know, destigmatizes de the whole the talking to yourself thing and um, makes you feel a little bit more comfortable about connecting and talking to yourself. So let's take a moment to have a little bit of a grounding breathing meditation and we'll use the same prompts that you received in your um, in the event and maybe you can take a few quiet moments now if you didn't get a chance to to write some things down to talk to yourself and we'll give you some space for that so I invite everyone to find a nice comfortable posture and let's just ground into your position and your space connect to your breath to so start to notice the air coming in the air flowing out. You can start to close your eyes, soften into this short practice, giving yourself permission and space to be here in this present moment. Let 
the space between the eyebrows soften, signaling to your mind that you're recharging and reflecting. Let the face be soft. Let the shoulders relax. And anywhere else that you feel the muscles in your body gripping or holding, just give permission to loosen, invite in some ease and calm, and begin to let your mind visualize yourself somewhere safe. Imagine that the pandemic has eased, that most of us have our vaccine. And just think about the things that you've been held back from, the restrictions being lifted. And start to breathe into that energy, into what that might look like for you. And maybe that future self, that pandemic free version of you needs to be reminded of some of the things that the present you is sitting with. And with that thought, gently open your eyes, come back into your space. And I invite you to maybe take a few moments to write down either pen to paper or on any of your devices, just some thoughts that you might have, present version, pandemic version of you to the future self where maybe there are less restrictions and what you might want that future self to know. And the words of compassion and kindness that you might offer to yourself, the way that you would talk to a cherished loved one the things that you would say, you think of the tone of voice that you would speak in as you write, as you get your thoughts out. Take a full deep breath. I send you forward with lots of light and love and encourage you to talk to yourself kindly. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We will uh, see you on the Unsinkable account for uh, weekly meditations. Please take care of one another. And we'll see you soon.